Hey there, thanks for checking in. Todd Buchanan from Downtown Billings here, uh, giving you a good look back at the market's activity for the last full week of October. Uh, we do have four more trading days in the next week on Halloween, of course. Uh, but wrapping up a pretty good week all in all. Uh, as eyes have left Washington, D.C., they've moved on to corporate earnings where we think they should be when you're tallying up uh, corporate health. And tech reports throughout the week led the markets to higher, higher all, all across the board. Uh, in fact, the S&P 500 hit a new all-time high, the NASDAQ a new 52-week high. You might remember that we're still a ways away from their all-time high, dating back to 1999, right, right before that big internet bust. So although the NASDAQ's doing extremely well, uh, we're not going to be calling out its all-time high for quite some time. Um, interestingly enough, in the light of last week's discussion as to the safety of U.S. debt, bond buyers were out in full force. We saw the U.S. 10-year Treasury drop to a, a low we haven't seen in quite a few months, closed around that 2.5% level at the end of the week. Uh, we were recently closer to 3%. That shows you how quickly that move can happen. Um, as I mentioned, all of this was on the heels of a lot of corporate earnings. Saw fantastic numbers out of Microsoft, uh, for example, helping those names. Um, Netflix had a positive number, started off really big uh, the day that they opened, and by the end of that day, actually shed as much as they had opened by, uh, showing you that volatility is and continue, will continue to be around stocks when they're in the middle of the earnings season. Um, we're back to getting data. Next week, you should be able to count on coming out of the Fed's consumer confidence, a couple different reports of inflation and its impact on the economy, as well as mortgage application numbers. A couple of the big corporate earnings that we're looking forward to, Apple Computers is one of them, Starbucks, Facebook among the names that we should anticipate uh, hearing some news on. Oil, if you've been tracking that, dropped pretty heavily in the last couple of weeks. It did bounce back in the last couple of days of the session, closing around that $98 level. And oil, our gold, is also off of some of its recent lows, uh, trading with some strength at the end of the session on Friday, closing at about 1350 Hey, hope your weekend's great. Thanks so much for your time. We'll talk to you soon.